In this presentation, we will examine diaphragm valve basics. This is a cutaway view of the 3550 springless seat in body diaphragm valve. This design is one of three diaphragm valve designs used in our valve products. The diaphragm makes a metal seal with the body to prevent outboard leakage and makes an internal seal with the seat to shut off flow. Actuator force causes the dome-shaped diaphragm to move downward, affecting a seal between the seat and diaphragm. When the actuator downward force is removed, the dome diaphragms lift, breaking the seal. This allows flow between the inlet and outlet ports. Due to the upward spring force of the dome diaphragm, no wetted spring is needed. This is why it is called a springless diaphragm valve. All AP Tech springless seat and body diaphragm valves have a replaceable seat and diaphragms, enabling optional rebuilding. As opposed to other designs with non-removable captured seats, AP Tech seats are inserted into the valve body and can be replaced to service the valve. There are several seat material options, including PCTFE, polyimid, PFA, and others. Diaphragm material is nickel cobalt alloy. The number of diaphragms in each model varies by design and pressure rating. The spring type diaphragm valve has a unique design that allows high pressure flow in both directions to rated pressure. The valve will open with high back pressure. Competitive valves may have maximum back pressure limits and if exceeded, their valve will not open. The spring type springless diaphragm valve has replaceable wetted components enabling the option to rebuild. Seat materials include PCTFE and optional polyimid. Diaphragms are nickel cobalt alloy. Due to the high pressure rating, multiple diaphragms are used. The springless positive retract diaphragm valve design uses a soft seal seat in the diaphragm assembly. When opening, the seat will positively retract from the valve body, breaking the seal. The actuator and diaphragm assembly are mechanically linked. Spring force is not required to lift the diaphragm, enabling greater seat travel than domed diaphragms. The springless positive retract diaphragm valve features a replaceable diaphragm assembly enabling rebuild. The diaphragm material is typically 316L stainless steel with optional nickel chromium molybdenum alloy. Seat material is PCTFE or optionally polyimid. Now let's review diaphragm valve actuation methods. Manual lever actuators transfer rotary force from the handle to a threaded stem. There are many knob options available and are detailed in product note number 415 on AP Tech's website. The knob has a pin to provide a hard stop and prevent over rotation and damage of the valve seat. Handles and indicator plate can be rotated to any position via set screw to improve usability. Downward rotation of the stem applies force to the diaphragm and closes the valve. Upward rotation of the stem allows the dome diaphragm's upward spring force to lift and opens the valve. The manual pull turn actuator has several features. It includes integrated lockout tagout and visual open closed indication. The locking stem feature requires the knob to be pulled upward to enable rotation of the knob. A roller rests in a slot when closed, preventing accidental rotation. Under the knob is an indicating plate with an open closed label to visually confirm status. The indicator plate can be rotated in any position via the set screw to improve usability. If a hasp is inserted into the locking stem when the valve is closed, the handle cannot be pulled up allowing lockout tagout. When the actuator is fully open, the valve cannot be locked out for safety, meaning the hasp cannot attach in the open position. Normally closed pneumatic actuators keep the valve in the closed state unless gas is supplied to the pneumatic actuator port. The actuator spring transfers force to the stem and push nut, moving the diaphragm downward to seal with the seat. When pneumatic pressure is introduced, gas pressure lifts the pistons and stem upward, overcoming the actuator spring force. There are various piston sizes and numbers depending on the pressure rating of the valve. The diaphragm spring force pushes the push nut upward breaking the seal, causing the valve to open.
The high pressure normally closed pneumatic actuator utilizes V-shaped disc actuator springs. The springs are levered and pivot on two fulcrum points. The springs are bolted in place and transfer force to the push nut and push rod, moving the diaphragm downward to seal with the seat, closing the valve. When pneumatic pressure is introduced into the actuator chamber, the gas pressure moves the pistons, overcoming the actuator spring force. When the downward load on the piston valve is removed, the diaphragm spring force lifts upward, opening the valve. The normally open pneumatic actuator is used to maintain the valve in a normally open state. The valve closes when gas pressure is supplied to the pneumatic actuator port. The actuator uses a spring to maintain no load on the stem and push nut, normally maintaining the diaphragm in the up position, allowing the valve to be open. When pneumatic pressure is introduced into the actuator chamber, the gas pressure pushes the piston, stem, and push nut downward, overcoming the actuator spring force. The downward force moves the dome diaphragm down, closing the valve. We also supply specialty diaphragm valves with unique capabilities. The 3571 and 4571 normally closed springless diaphragm valves feature two flow modes, metered and full flow. Metered flow range is selected and preset at the factory. There are two actuation ports. When the lower metered flow piston is actuated, the piston travel is limited and adjustable. When the upper piston is actuated, it enables full flow mode with complete retraction of the stem and push nut from the diaphragm. This valve is used in applications where two-step soft venting or pressurization of semiconductor wafer process chambers is preferred to minimize turbulence. The manual diaphragm metering valves feature fine flow adjustment control. The valve features 12 to 15 knob turns from fully closed to fully open. Unlike needle valves, the springless diaphragm design enables ultra high purity operation. The 3672 and 3675 model also includes a soft seat. There are many common valve options that can be chosen for most of our valves. Multiple porting options of two to four ports allows for a reduced number of components. We offer various sizes and types of fittings, including tube stub, face seal, compression, C-seal, NPT, and others. There are several surface finishes offered. We offer many valves with high temperature options up to 250 C. See product note number 427 for details. Most valves can be ordered with open and closed electronic position indicating switches. For very corrosive gases, we offer nickel chromium molybdenum alloy valve bodies. The constant bleed option allows continuous flow through the valve even when the closed and the 3200 series offers metal seats for specialty applications. We also offer multi-turn manual actuators. Now let's summarize the key information in valve basics. AP Tech makes three types of diaphragm valves, springless seat and body, spring type for high pressures, and springless positive seat retract. All diaphragm valves are capable of bidirectional flow and rebuildable. We offer several actuator options, including normally closed pneumatic, normally open pneumatic, and many manual actuator lever and knob choices, some with open closed visual indication and lockout tagout. We also offer several specialty diaphragm valves with variable flow control features. Some common options include multiple ports, fittings, high temperature capability, and electronic open and closed indicating switches. For more information on AP Tech products, go to aptech-online.com where you can download the various product notes referenced in this presentation.